Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft Viking Heritage and my series uh, Vikings from A to Z. And today is about the chest, uh, the Viking chest, uh, the sea chest and uh, also a little bit about the casket. Yeah, and as you saw, I have made a, a chest for myself, a little Viking chest and uh, yeah, I made a little video about that. Not the uh, complete tutorial, but some hints on how you can make a chest like this. So I hope you enjoy that. And uh, I have a little story I will tell about uh, the chest and uh, where it came from and how it was used during the uh, times. Um, I hope you find that interesting too. And then I have uh, baked a little flatbread and uh, make a little lunch out here together with my coffee and uh, just enjoying uh, staying out here. And uh, as you saw, I have my little uh, lantern in my chest for now and I have my tools. Um, there's a chest, very uh, famous chest called Mestermyr chest that was found in uh, Sweden. I'll tell you a little bit about that uh, later. But I thought it was a good idea to have my uh, tools down there, like in that chest. And uh, you can see this picture. I have a, a lot of tools collected from uh, things I have bought, some are uh, original old school and other things are uh, something new that is looking like an old school thing. Uh, the drills are uh, made recently, so they are not uh, made in the Viking Age or like in the Viking Age. But it's a hand tool I can use when I'm out in the forest and uh, making some stuff out there. And uh, some of the tools you have seen me use before in other projects and some of the other tools I will use in uh, upcoming projects. So yeah, and Cornelius is with me today. Um, I bought a little rat for him. <laughs> he likes to play with. Yeah. And go Rotte. His name is Red again. Yeah. But now I think I'll put some coffee over and uh, yeah, prepare my fire. Set some coffee over.
Yeah, and uh, while I'm sitting here waiting for my coffee to cook, I'll show you the video about my Viking chest and the uh, chest and the uh, casket in general. So I hope you enjoy this. The ancient Egyptians created the first known chests for more than 5,000 years ago using wood or woven rush. The oldest meaning of the word chest is from the old English chest, box of casket. The anatomical meaning comes from the idea that the ribs form a box or a chest around the internal organs. The chest is a box with a lid and often a lock for storing shipping things. It has access through the top, usually via a hinge lid. The difference between a chest and a casket is that a casket is smaller than a chest and often used for jewelry and other things that are very valuable. Keist, a word that dates back to the 14th century Scotland, derived from the Old Norse kista, and in Denmark a chest is also called a kiste, which also means a coffin, to bury people in. And then made a bit of a confusion when I said to my wife I would like to make a Viking kiste. The chest was for a long time often the only piece of furniture in many houses, used for all kinds of household storage, as well as the primary place for sitting. At the beginning it was a hollow trunk, uh, also used by poor people because it was easy to make. But the most common way to construct a chest is a six-board chest, consisted of a front, a back, two ends, a lid and a bottom. The early uses of chests include storage of fine clothes, weapons, foods and variable items. The owner's social status and different styles have characterized the design and decoration of the chests. If an invading army was closing in and a person had to leave a very short notice, all their belongings would be loaded into the chest and they would leave quickly in the knowledge that everything they owned was safely with them. The bridal chest, also called a hope chest, a piece of furniture traditionally used by unmarried women to collect items such as clothing and household linen in anticipation of getting married. Chests designed for linen or other soft objects would have a very smooth and sanded interior and chests made for heavy equipment or weapons would have a coarser interior. The sea chest is known by the longer sides that elevates the chest from the ground so it is protected when the floor gets wet from seawater and rain. The seaman's chest were stored in the crew's quarter and were used as a seat as well as containers for sailors' personal effects. Items that were stored in this chest include clothing, tools, keepsakes and things for entertainment such as books and cards. Most seamen's chests were decorated only with the coat of paint and the owner's name. Seamen's chests are always equipped with a lock as well as a handle for either sides, known as beckets. Famous Viking chests There's been a lot of findings of Viking chests all over the northern part of Europe, and in particular here in Scandinavia, where I live. Findings from the old Danish trading town Hedeby, now in the northern part of Germany, has inspired many people to make their own Viking chest, but the most important finding is from Sweden and Norway. In Sweden the Mestermyr chest was found in 1936, and it is a Viking age tool chest found in Mestermyr west of Hems in the island of Gotland, Sweden, and is the largest tool find from the Viking age. The chest contained Viking blacksmithing and woodworking tools, among them two saws. The chest and its contents provide a variable insight into technology during the Viking Age. The Mestermyr chest was made of oak with iron hinges and lock. The Oseberg burial mound was discovered in 1903 near Tunsberg, 100 km southwest of Oslo. It consisted of a Viking ship, numerous wooden and metal artifacts, textiles, and even sacrificed animals used as offering for the two buried women there. 
Among things that were found was three chests and some pieces of several other chests. They were all made of oak and in three different sizes and decorated with iron mountains and nails with tin-plated heads. These Viking chest is the most copied Viking chest in the world and owes the inspiration for my own Viking sea chest. Um, this is the Viking chest I made for myself. Uh, made it of uh, oak and uh, yeah, the measurement comes in a, in a little while. First I'll uh, start making some templates. It's very important and I made it so it will be in the full size. I cut it out, I made it um, like this and it should be uh, put together in this way. Then I cut out the templates because I didn't have uh, access to a large piece of oak so I bought some boards that I could uh, transfer the templates to. You can see here. And uh, this way I uh, used the boards 100% and there was no waste of wood uh, in this process. I'm going to have marked there all the templates. I just uh, cut it out. And um, yeah, uh, finally I got all my uh, woods and then I glue it together and then uh, I use these nails, hand forged nails, uh, to put it together. And here you can see the measurement, how big my uh, Viking chest is. Uh, it's a good size, it's a medium size. And um, I think it looks uh, very cool. It was uh, exactly what I have wanted. You can see the back here. I got these hinges uh, that I bought. They are a little bit small, but I think it's okay. And you can see on the sides, I have uh, made these so I can carry the chests and uh, so I can put my fingers in and lift the chests uh, without any problems. I could have used rope, but I think this looked better. And here's some details of my chests and my little uh, Thorsh hammer that I tried to carve out. It's very difficult. I'm not very good at this, but yeah. It looks okay. Yeah. And uh, here in the bottom you can see I reinforced it with a, a little piece of wood so that it will be more sturdy. And uh, more details of the hinges and the lids I can open. And uh, of course it could all the way round so I have full access to my little chest. And here you can see the insides. It's very rough inside. I'll tell you a little bit about that later. And the nails from the hinges are just bended. And this is the way it's closed now. Perhaps I'll buy a lock sometime in the future, a real uh, Viking lock, if I can find one. Yeah. But this is not a, a small project. It took me almost a week for me to make uh, this Viking chest. Yeah, and this is what I'm going to eat for a little lunch. Some uh, butter in here, some jam, strawberry jam and a flatbread I baked uh, took with me. So that is my little lunch for today and of course my coffee.
Yeah, folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, yeah, I hope you find my little video about the chests and caskets interesting. And uh, thank you for watching Kimma Bushcraft. Hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.